All right, everyone. Welcome to this week's story time. I'm Miss Isabel. I'm here at the Graves Library, and the weather is cooling down. We're starting to see some signs of fall, and I think it's officially time to say goodbye to summer, which I'm kind of happy about. <laughs> so our first book this week is aptly called Goodbye Summer, Hello Autumn. And the author and illustrator is named Kennard Pack. And our publisher for Goodbye Summer, Hello Autumn is Henry Holt and Company. Hello, late summer morning. Hello, trees. And the trees say, Hello, now that the cool winds have come, we love how our branches sway in the sun. Hello, playful foxes and singing blue jays. Hello, we are busy looking for food. Some of us are heading south to our winter homes. And there's all the busy animals. I've definitely seen squirrels and blue jays by my house, but not many foxes. Hello, walking stick and butterflies. Hello, we're surprised you saw us. We try our best to blend in and we'll do the same in warmer places. There's one of the butterflies and there's another one and there's one that almost looks like a leaf. But where's the stick bug? Does anybody see it? There it is, right there, pretending to be a stick. Hello, beavers. Hello, chipmunks. Hello. We have no time to play because we're making cozy nests and dens. It will be cold soon and we want to get ready. Just like maybe we put an extra blanket on our bed at night. They're building up their homes for the winter. And there's a fisherman with a very big dog. Hello flowers. Hello. We are leaning into the sun, enjoying the last summer rays. Some of us, like asters and phlox, are late bloomers. We make the end of the season even more colorful. And our character is holding a bouquet of flowers that she picked. And the end of the season is very colorful. Hello, thunder. Hello. You can hear my low rumble from far away. My clouds loom over the open fields and quiet hills. Hello, breezy wind. Hello. I love to whoosh, drizzle, and leaves through the misty streets. Here's everybody walking into the wind. Hello, chill in the air. Hello. It's time to bring out your thick sweaters and scarves. 
And I love all the little characters in the windows up here. There's a girl reading a book, there's a tea kettle and some plants, a cat with one eye open and a bird of some sort, a canary maybe. <laughs> It's getting chilly. Hello, puddle. Hello. Now that the wind has come, I often get covered with fallen leaves. You get wet leaves stuck to your shoes. And there's a blue jay playing in the puddle. Hello, leaves. Hello. We are changing our colors. Some of us turn red or brown, while others turn gold or yellow. The dogwood leaves turn purple. I have a tree at my house whose leaves are purple all the time. And you can see all the colors. Hello, big orange sun. Hello. I am setting earlier and earlier now that summer is coming to an end, but I will see you again tomorrow. I've certainly been noticing the early sunsets and late sunrises. The days are getting shorter. Goodbye, summer. You can see all the cozy animals having a long winter's nap. Goodbye, summer. Here's a picture of the town without words. You can just see everything. I think it's very beautiful. Hello, Autumn. The leaves are changing. The air is getting cooler. She's got a scarf on. Different one than the rest of the book. Hello, Autumn. And that's the end of Goodbye, Summer. Hello, Autumn. And here's the back. <laughs> it says, how do we know that autumn is coming? And now I think you know. All right. To continue on that theme, what was one of the, one of the autumn signs that our character said hello to? I think it was the chilly breeze. So I picked another book called Windy Days. And it was written by Deborah Kerbel and Miki Sato. Miki Sato. <laughs> and you can see all the colors of the autumn leaves. And our library sticker. <laughs> Windy days. And our publisher for this one is Pajama Press. Gentle wind, rising breeze, scatters fluffy milkweed seeds. And those are what the milkweed seeds look like. They're little fluffy things. But butterflies like milkweed. Gusting wind, whoosh and whirl, flags a flutter, pinwheels twirl. Looks like this character is at a fair, a carnival. We've got a pinwheel 
spinning in the wind. And there's big, beautiful clouds in the background. The art in these books are collages, which are really cool. Whistling wind, stormy song, tapping branches drum along. You can see that stormy autumn weather. And a bunny reading a book. Autumn wind, geese take flight. Perfect day to fly a kite. And there's the geese that fly in a V shape and they're going south for the winter. And I have to say, I don't think I've ever flown a kite. So maybe that's something for this autumn. Looks like they're having fun. Steady wind, turbine tower, turning airflow into power. And here on this farm with the apple trees, you can see the wind turbines in the back. And up close, they are very big. And they turn wind into electricity. Whirling wind, swaying trees, falling, spinning, dancing leaves. And what's the best thing to do with leaves in the fall? Rake up a pile and jump in them. Sweeping wind blasts and blows, tries to lift me off my toes. And that rainbow umbrella is almost like a sail. Have you ever been blown over by a really strong wind? Roaring wind, howling sky, restless storm clouds rolling by. What do you think these kids are doing? Looks to me like they are trick-or-treating on Halloween. And the witch's hat is blowing away, but the vampire is helping. I like this cat too. <laughs> I have a black and white cat myself. Blustery wind burns and shrieks, nibbles on my nose and cheeks. Sometimes the cold, cold wind can almost feel hot because it's so cold. <laughs> Icy wind, fading sun, a brand new season has begun. And that looks like the beginnings of winter. All right, that's the end of windy days for you. And I'm looking forward to autumn. We might do another autumn themed story time next week. So I'll look forward to seeing you then. Take care, everyone.